He has been the Suns' defensive star in the playoffs going against Andre Miller of Portland, Manu Ginobili of San Antonio, although Ginobili playing through that broken nose. Grant playing in the month of May for the first time in his NBA career. What a great story. It was sort of interesting. His wife, Tamia, they were talking about when the free agency was coming about, you know, Grant, where do you want to play? And she said, Grant, you go to New York, you can enjoy the city. You go to Boston, you can win. You go to Phoenix, you can have fun going to work every day. And he said, you know what? I got all three this year. Yes, he did. It has been a superb season for Grant Hill at the age of 37. Richardson with the step. It's that beautiful curl move that they run and that Jason Richardson comes so hard off that screen the last time we saw him make the jumper that time he got all the way to the rim. Bryant getting inside. Kobe Bryant has scored 12 of the last 16 points for the Lakers. Suns down by eight. Stoudemire. That was deflected by Gasol who was ahead of the field. It down. Now, no one rotated back. Gasol, you said it. He blocked the shot and then just kept going. Someone's got to rotate back and cover him. Thanks. Picked off by Gasol. That's a size that bothers Steve Nash in the passing lane. The Laker length, their long arms, getting those deflections. Bryant for three. Just three of eight from the field, nine points. He does have 11 assists. Adams pass off the foot of Gasol. So the ball back to Phoenix. 5.21 to go in this third quarter. The Lakers up by 10. Kobe Bryant taking over in the third for LA. Overall, eight of 16 from the field. 26 points for Bryant. The 2010 Western Conference Finals on TNT. Brought to you by Land Rover. Why get a car when you can own a Land Rover? And by the United States Marine Corps. The few, the proud, the Marines. Welcome back to L.A. where the Lakers have a 10-point lead midway through the third. The Phoenix Suns care about the community. This season, Amari Stoudemire hosted an NBA fit basketball clinic for local youngsters where he emphasized the importance of staying active. The kids also sharpened their on-the-court skills and talked about the value of teamwork. The NBA, where caring happens. And on the subject of Amari Stoudemire, last season set back by several eye injuries, played only 53 games. This after coming back from surgically repaired knees, made the all-star team for a fifth time this year, finished up very strong, overall average 23 points, nine rebounds. You know, I didn't think early in the season he was sharp. I think he was getting adjusted to that eye surgery, the goggles. He was a little bit... Uh, overweight he was not able to run and work out and it really took him about a half season until I thought he got in sync offensively and he stripped right there Bryant took it away Bryant now played by Jared Dudley who just checked back in the step back by Bryant he is on fire 14 of his 28 here in the third quarter Shot nine free throws. I talked about him tomorrow. When he shoots double-digit free throws, chances are he's going to get to the mid-30s to 40 points because you know the rest of his game is going to be there. Nash making the turn. Nice move by Steve Nash. What Derek Fisher does, he rides over the top of those screens, and he tries to keep his body attached to Steve Nash. Steve Nash thought he got pushed from behind on that play, talking to Greg Willard. Off for Gasol, met by Fry. Oh! Fadeaway by Paul Gasol. How many big guys can catch the ball like that, going away from the basket? Gather yourself, get bumped, fade away, and knock down that jump shot. Yeah, he was upset that there was no foul call. Gasol is now seven of ten from the field, a solid 14-point outing. A reach-in foul. 
Kazan Fisher, that is his third. And remember I said Steve Nash complained the previous play about that. When Fisher comes over that screen, he sort of grabs that guy rolling to disrupt his timing. It's a big part of that uh, Suns offense is that quick roll to the basket. It's only the first team foul committed by the Lakers. Fry for three. And he's been off. One of seven from the field. But Kobe's got that bounce in his step right now. He's going right at Jared Dudley on this possession. A series of fakes, and that has to give it up. Oh, oh, the song. Yes, and it counts. How beautiful was that? Gasol read that play beautifully. Kobe gave the ball up. And watch what happens. Gasol is going to flash to the open area and go right back door. Watch Kobe moving without the basketball. That is just terrific teamwork. Kobe Bryant, 30 points now. You see this, Marv. I always go on that one point per shot. 1.7. He was 1.5 against Utah. He will not beat the Lakers when he puts up those kind of numbers. That is offensive efficiency at its finest. Shannon Cry called for the foul. Bryant with 17 of the Lakers, 25 points here in the third quarter. And they pulled away. It's a 15-point advantage. Ash lost his balance, lost the ball. Odom with a skip pass. Here's a brilliant third quarter by Kobe Bryant at the Lakers. The Suns will talk it over. Bill Jackson always talks to his team about the third quarter. Coming out and making that push. The Suns, it's the second quarter. Tonight, it's the Lakers, the third. They have pushed this lead to 17. On right, a look at uh, those on hand here in L.A. A sly in the house, Sylvester Stallone. Dustin Hoffman, who is a regular here. Jack rarely misses a Laker game. And uh, the cast of Southland, uh, Michael Cutlets, Regina King, stars of the uh, TNT hit series Southland in attendance here this evening. And Kentucky All-American John Wall, who will have much interest in the NBA lottery that takes place tomorrow night. John could be number one draft pick. Coming up on three minutes to go here in the third. Stoudemire not able to hit. Rebounded by Odom. The Lakers have opened up a 17-point lead. A test passed on the shot. Now, those are threes he would have taken earlier in the year. He's showing a lot of discipline with his shot selection. You recall, Douglas, the saw was able to knock it down, that Phil Jackson was upset yes. about the shot selection of the runoff test, particularly when he was firing away from three-point range, which led to the Twitter, Twitter is what he said, <laughs> incident. I guess when you're shooting about 17% from three, the coach <laughs> should say, say something to you, right, uh, Marv? Steve Nash able to hit the, the jumper. Well, Phil Jackson quoted in the plate, papers concerning his feeling that uh, runs shot selection could be better. And as a side note, our test was late for a practice and then fined by Phil. Here's our test shooting for three. <laughs> Stepped alive, Bryant stripped. And uh, that led to our test complaining via Twitter about the head coach not talking directly to him. Dudley not able to hit from the three-point range. And back comes Fisher. Phil said he did make the point, though, regarding shot selection to our test at practice. And whether players agree with it or not over the years, uh, that has been Phil's style. He will tweak a player to the media, which uh, does get the attention of, of the player. Move. Incidentally, our test apologized to Jackson, and then Phil said he was sympathetic to Rock's feelings. <laughs> Jason Richardson's doing it again. Nice job off that uh, screen, but they've chased him off that three-point line, Marv. They had two, three er, uh, two threes early. His last three field goals have all been two-pointers, so I think they feel good about that, making him get inside that line. Bryant off the fake.
Richardson for three. Now that's what they worry about because he can heat up in a hurry in that 18, 19 point lead to get into single digits quickly. Jason Richardson has hit all four of his shot attempts here in the third, 15 points at all. Our test, that was contested by Dudley. Odom kept it, uh, kept it alive.